What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to Cantina Talk. This is the Revan Saber from Sabers Pro. Big thank you to Sabers Pro for sending this out to me for a review. So, really quickly, I just want to say that throughout this video, I'm going to be using a 26 inch blade only because it's easier for just recording in here. I won't be able to hit anything. And on top of that, too, I prefer shorter blades, but that's just me. This Saber came standard with a 36 inch blade and will most likely come standard with that with your order unless you change it. This Saber also has a 7 8 diameter, so if you want to use other blades with the Saber, just make sure that you have a 7 8 diameter blade and you should be fine. Okay, so you're getting about this much of blade depth, which is really nice because the longer the blade, the more sturdy it'll be, especially when it comes to dueling. You'll run into far less issues with it, and you should be able to go full contact without having any issues. Now, if the blade depth was here, however, you're going to run into some issues and you might even damage your blade. But the fact that it's down to here, you're going to be good to go full contact. I was going full contact with this, so it'll be perfectly fine. But without further ado, let's just get right into this Saber review. So on the front of the box, we are greeted with the Sabres Pro logo, and the back is just plain black cardboard, which is totally fine. They don't have to include anything on the back, I just figured I would show you all. Now, as you can see, this box came pretty banged up, and I was honestly kind of scared that the Sabre was going to be damaged, and for the most part, it wasn't. There is some cosmetic damages, but luckily, that is all there is. Then when we open up the box, we are greeted with our 36-inch NeoPixel blade, our Revan Sabre, along with a USB Type-C, an SD card reader, a user manual, and our extra blade retention screws, along with our Allen key set. Next, we're going to grab the Sabre and take it out of the bubble wrap, and we are greeted with the Revan Sabre. As you can tell, this Sabre is definitely a fingerprint magnet, and if you look closely, you can see all the scratching that was done to the Sabre during shipping. And next, here is a closer look at the USB Type-C cable, and with that, I'm also going to flip through the user manual. If you need to pause at any point, go ahead and do so. From here, I'll give you a closer look at the pack of retention screws along with the Allen key set and the SD card reader. Now, this Sabre did not come with a display stand. I'm going to be using one that I currently already have, but this is what the Sabre looks like on a display stand altogether. I honestly really enjoy how the Sabre feels in my hands, and out of all of the Sabres I've done reviews on, this one feels the best in hand, and it also is a NeoPixel V3. So to get access to the SD card and the chassis, all you got to do is start unscrewing the middle section of the Sabre, and then you'll be greeted with the SD card, battery, and the chassis. One thing I really like too, when the Sabre is on, the activation button lights up and changes colors along with the sound fonts. But that is the unboxing and review of the Sabre. I'm now going to be going over the sound font section of this video. The teacher. Serenity. Let's <laughs> go. 
Senate. Apprentice Magenta. Well, that is the full review of the Revan Saber by Sabers Pro. I would love to hear you all think about this review and the Saber alone. Big thank you again to Sabers Pro for sending this out to me to review. I'm not paid by them to say anything nice or bad about the Saber, I'm just giving you my honest review of it, and I have to give the Saber an 8 out of 10. But without further ado, I will see you all in the next video, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you do not miss when that video comes out. And with that, I will see you all in the next one, and lastly, may the Force be with you all.